Well, good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday the 9th, about 10.25. We are leaving the Quality Inn in Harper's Ferry and moving on. Uh, we've got either a four mile day or maybe an eight, probably an eight to go to the next camp. There's two camp campgrounds. The further we go today, the less we have to go tomorrow. It's supposed to be really heavy rain tomorrow. So if we can get closer to the, the next town, it'd only be, if we can go 8.8, 8 .8, we'd only be two miles from a town to, if it was pouring really bad. We could walk in and spend a day sitting in a cafe or something until the weather breaks and then move on past that. But we'll see. That's what's nice about this. You just kind of plan as you go. No, no set plans. But I wanted to let you know thanks for watching the posts and the videos. And I uh, hope you have a great day. And as we get a little closer, we'll show you a little more Harper's. This is Actually, we're on the outskirts. We have to go through Harper's and then cross the AT Rail Bridge and then head west. All right, we'll see you later. That's where we came from. That's where we're going. All right, take care. Back from West Virginia into Maryland. There's the town of Harpers Ferry. Here's the train bridge. But you have to walk across this part of the AT. So we'll walk across. Instead of turning right, we're going down the water, we're going upstream. Of course, Cumberland, Maryland. All right. where the Shenandoah River right here flows into the Potomac. This is over there. And this bridge right here was redone when they had a trail around it. And it took all half of this up, this section of the bridge out. So all this is new. All right. I'll let you go. On the trip. Thanks for watching. Figured I'd give you a little trail to walk along. So it's been this wide the whole entire time, so it's kind of unique. It's 184.5 miles long, and that'll take you from DC to Cumberland, Maryland, and then about another 150, I believe, from Cumberland to Pittsburgh and that's called something else and that's based off a railroad but uh, it's nice today it's a cooler bit in the shade and not quite as many bikes Huge, 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 huge sycamore trees. See a lot of people on the summit over there. Uh, floating, floating little rafts or little tubes. They've been doing it this morning. We've been walking for about an hour. And uh, it's been peaceful. 
think we decided to go 8.8 .8 miles to Tetum, Antietam Park. It's a fee-based park. And then we'd only have a two mile walk, a two and a half mile walk into town. If it's bad weather tomorrow. So that's what the plan is currently. But it's a peaceful morning. Lots of big old trees. It's huge. All right. See you down the trail. Well, good morning. I'm just going to say morning. <clears throat> Got up at 5 this morning. Trying to beat the rain. Uh, Go to town about 3 miles away. It's supposed to rain for about 3 hours. So I think we're going to tuck in. Get a little Mickey D or something and uh, charge some devices while we're sitting there and then take off after the rain. Well, right. That's where we came from. That's where we're going. I almost fell over. Ah! Got visited by a ranger last night. We were uh, staying in a pay for stay slot. No different, except it had clean, clean water. So, of course, we couldn't have internet service. It was twenty dollars to stay there, but he let us slide. But anyway, that's where we're at. Kill's taking a selfie, so we gotta wait. We are here at a Tetum, 69.3 taking off, 6.30 in the morning, four miles to go. All right, see you a little bit. Bye. Down there, that's where the old bridge was. Just met a local, told us to go to Betty's for breakfast. So, there's the monument we saw over there. This is still the Potomac River. Turned off a lot of noise. I'll just take some pictures. Shepherd University. Shepherd's Sweet Shop and Bakery, but it's closed right now. So we just ate at Betty's Restaurant. What? And 
Now we're gonna walk about another mile up to the McDonald's. So get a bigger booth. Betty's was nice, but a very tight. So we're gonna have a little more room to spread out and, and charge our devices. Butterfly bushes. Or hopefully. Pedal and paddle. Cone, Thai, and Sushi Bistro. So, this is on, we are now in West Virginia, by the way. We crossed the river. We crossed the river that came over into West Virginia. So. The town of Shepherdsville, established in 1734, it said. Pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of nice restoration. This is the main street here, too. A little hilly. All right, I'm going to turn you off. Catch you a little bit. Okay, we just walked back over the bridge. It is now four o'clock, 3.56. We had breakfast at Betty's, a little dinner at uh, Mickey D's, and sat there till about 3.30. Let most of the rain pass. So hopefully it's all gone. I think we've got about three miles to camp for the day which will give us about a seven, two, somewhere around there. Anyway, seven or eight mile a day. All right, catch you later. Bye. Good morning, day 10. It's about uh, seven o'clock, thereabouts. Slept wonderful. Good night's sleep. Ouch, spider. Something. Anyway, very still morning, but not as damp, so it's good. I think we're gonna go. We didn't have a picnic table, so we're gonna go about a mile and a half. Up at a boat ramp, I believe. That hopefully, it has picnic tables and have our morning coffee. And they have pit toilets, not porta potties, which is a big plus. All right, that's where we left. That's where we're going. And the sun's coming up. See you soon. Bye. You see that. Oh, there it is, a big hornet's nest. Along with some big rock face cliffs. Huge, and probably about seven stories high. You see how calm the river is today. I think this is day 10, not positive. I think we're at camp no, mile 75.3 or five or something like that. We're supposed to go, I think a 7.5 today and an 8.2 and an 8.8 .8 to get to our next shower. We probably could do a 15 and cut cut one of those days off, but we'll see how it goes. Depends on the heat. <clears throat> From about 11 to about 3 or 4, it's usually the hottest part of the day. And although all the water's there, it's, it's probably... 
30 foot down to the water. That's what's amazing. They cut these canals or built these walls up and it's just like a big bowl between here and that rock face over there. And then we fill it up with water and float the float those uh, canal barges carrying all the supplies down to DC. Alright, you have a good one. Like I said, there's nothing spectacular mountain wise, but it's interesting. And we've seen deer every day. Here we go. Oh, 76. That's the one good thing. They mark them every mile. So it gives you a little incentive. You know where you're at. Pretty much all the time. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye. Hey there, 957. Kilt's back that way, finding the restroom on this boat ramp. So I'm sitting on a rock, chilling. But uh, day 10, nine day of hiking, uh, averaging about 10 miles a day, which is good. No big hurries, no big rushes. We're going about every Every two miles, taking a, a few, little bit of a break. Sorry about that, but uh, doing well. Uh, turn you around, you can see the falls. I don't know if you can see those over there. Use the boat dock. But uh, pretty nice day so far. I think we got about two more miles to the next camp where we'll get some more water, take a little break, uh, have a little snack, and then I think we're going to try to go, let's see, about 15 miles today, and then we'll have an eight point one or two tomorrow to get into town, so that'll put us in the day earlier rather, rather than stopping. Because we figure we're just going to cruise nice and slow. So tonight I'll show you camp setup and how things are. Um, while I'm thinking about it, I have some grandchildren who started school this week. So Torin, Gemma, Emmerich, and I'm sure the Colorado kiddos are out getting ready too. Um, but anyway, I just want to say shout out to Torin. And I, I am going to eat your toes when I see them because I'm hungry. I'm really hungry and I need some toes to eat. Gemma, I'll give you a smack sandwich and, and, and play with macaroni. That's your dog. No, her dog's Zelda, but I call it macaroni. And uh, Mr. Bear. And Emmerich, you take care of mommy. And you make sure those cars are clean and washed for, for Dada. And he likes washing the cars and, and rinsing the soap off. So you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Maybe if I get to a hotel room, I'll call tomorrow and uh, give you a Jessica story. <gasps> Jessica story. All right, you all. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Water, one to go. All right. Yeah, this is pretty nice. We got a road, houses right by the trail. And here's the trail. We were up miles, just past mile 81. I got a lot excited because when we hit 80, I go, oh, we're halfway there. Kit looks at me and with bewilderment, he said, how long is the trail? I said, 184. He said, what's half of 184? I said, oh, I thought it was 160. So, I got all excited, but then still got 12 more miles to go get halfway. 
that's okay. It's a beautiful day. We have shade, even though we're exposed, so that's good. All right, people, we're rolling. Later. Yeah. Hello, hello. One o'clock. Been here about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we are taking a lunch and we're at mile 85.5. So, I'll show you what we do for lunch. How about that? Hang on. First off, here's the view. That's across the river there is West Virginia. We're still in Maryland. Boat ramp area where a bunch of boaters are, so we're hoping to snag some water because there's no water here, of course. So, anyway, I'll show you what I'm doing for lunch. Back it up a little bit. Having some buffalo style chicken creations on some tortilla shells. So, that makes the two tortilla shells, little street ones. Got some skeepy peanut butter that we'll put on a tortilla shell with some Snyder honey mustard pretzels. Uh, a couple of Kieber club crackers with cheese. Uh, a liter of water with some Milo water flavoring. And maybe Maybe a payday, probably a Snickers because I'll be full. Let's just say this for dinner. But we decided to push on in so that way we can make it to town tomorrow a day, a day early. I'll let you see this boat, boat coming over here. How about that? Most of these boats up here are jet ski boats because it's kind of shallow. There they are. And the towpath is right behind us. So we'll be heading that way when we go. Alright, a couple of people down there fishing, having lunch. We're in the shade, shoes are off, and relaxing. All right, catch a little bit. Well, it's a Saturday, and we were on a concrete boardwalk, and all the boaters are out. How about that? Of course, this needs no No shade very much, anyway. It's about 2.50. I think we got about another three miles to go. All right, I'll let you follow along here. Cliffs. Right. If you see anything interesting, I'll let you know.
All right, it's 4.38. We just crossed over the 90 mile mark. So that's nine days of hiking, 90 miles. And we've got a 0.8 to our camp site. So happy about that. And tomorrow we'll make town again. So I think we've got eight something, 8.8 .8 in the town tomorrow maybe. Not counting the town walk to find a hotel, resupply, and find something to nibble on food wise. Hot day. 15 point it'll be a 15.1 mile day today. So I got us back on track since we had those two short days. So other than that, see you in a bit.